It's going to be another blisteringly hot day as we get into another weather alert day across mid-Missouri. Take a look at that lawn mowing forecast. Aim early because look how quick we're back into the 90s. Lunchtime is what it's looking like here. Again, this warm start that we're getting off to, as soon as you step outside, man, you are going to feel some of that heat and humidity. As early as 930, looking at that heat index, stopping out around 90 degrees, and it gets worse from there. Move that uh, into the century mark by about lunchtime and as we get into the afternoon. Keeping that triple digit heat around as we get all the way through about 4 and 5 o'clock. But you notice what's looming to the north. Got another disturbance that's going to fire up some storms. And with all of this heat and humidity, could be on the stronger side of that spectrum. Now, what we've noticed this morning is some of that data is really favoring our northern counties here. So that's going to be the best bet at picking up some strong stuff. But this is an area-wide threat with... Some of these pushing out some gusty winds as we get into this afternoon, right on into this evening. I think that threat's going to be there between about 4 and 10 o'clock as we get into this afternoon. Let us look at future track again, kind of backing up that idea as we get into tonight. I think we're shaping up a lot better. We got to watch out for some storms that are going to try to redevelop as we get into the overnight hours. I think it's going to be Illinois and Iowa's problem, though with some of that latest data coming in. This is the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. And again, this is that severe outlook and looking a little bit different than what we showed you yesterday. All of us were in this tier two category. That's actually been shifted pretty far north as we get into this afternoon. And that's going with that idea that some of that latest data, again, pinning in on some of those northern counties. If we do get strong storms, damaging straight line winds look like the easiest threat to achieve. Large hail, though, is on the table. That tornado threat's pretty low. It's not exactly zero. We'll never, hardly ever rule it out here in mid-Missouri, but it looks pretty low. That's the good news. The bad news is the heat, it's here to stay. As we get into tomorrow, likely going to have to extend that weather alert day into Thursday if we're going to be this hot again, and it looks like we can. Those temperatures topping out in the middle 90s. A lot cooler, though, by this weekend.